Hello and welcome to the episode. Today I show you how to grease your rear shock absorber link bearings. I perform this procedure every year on my NC because I use my bike in some harsh weather conditions. They come quite dry from the factory, so if you haven't done this yet, then it might be a good idea. First thing to do is put your bike on the main stand. The bolts I'm pointing out are the ones you need to remove. Spray them with WD-40. Now first loosen the lower nut as shown. You will need a 17mm socket or spanner. Now loosen the top nut as shown. Go around the opposite side and grab a 14mm spanner. Loosen the nut and bolt simultaneously. Do this for the upper and lower bolts. Remove the nuts and pull off the right linkage. Loosen the lower shock absorber nuts. It's a good idea to put all your parts in one place. Now you'll need a trolley jack to take the weight of the rear wheel. Jack it slightly so the wheel just starts to lift. Push out the remaining link bolt as shown. you'll need to push down on the chain to slide the bolt out. Put all the parts in one place. Remove the last remaining nut as shown. Here you will need the 17mm spanner and an 8mm hex key for the bolt. Slide both the bolts out and remove the linkage. Put everything in one container. Remove the roller pin from the rear swing arm as shown. Here you can see all the needle bearings. Remove both pins from the linkage.
using WD-40 give everything a good clean as shown. Use a toothbrush to clean the needle bearings. Don't forget to clean the one on the swing arm. Once clean, lay all your parts on a nice clean cloth. Grab your grease and thoroughly grease the three pins. Pack in the grease as you rotate all the pins. Clean up all the excess grease. Install all the parts as shown in this particular order. Tighten all the bolts to 44 newton meters. Once you are happy, perform a final check around all the bolts. Release the trolley jack. Visually check all the linkages. Pull up on the rear wheel as shown. Make sure there is no play here. Now get on the bike and bounce the suspension up and down. Make sure there is no knocking or excessive rebound. Excessive rebound is where the bike bounces back quickly. If this is happening, your shock resorber is worn and will need further investigation. Here are the tools you will need. Some multi-purpose grease, a 17 mm spanner, a 14 mm spanner, and an 8mm hex key. Well that is the end of the video. Please consider subscribing for more videos like this. I upload weekly videos of tips, vlogs and reviews. Basically anything motorcycle related. Give me a nice thumbs up if you like the video. I really appreciate you watching. Until then, I've been Nick. 
and I'll catch you on the next episode. Ride safe.